In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add UTM parameters on your Elementor form for free. So, go into your Elementor page builder and of course, bring up your form. In case you're wondering how to build this, I have a tutorial that I uploaded recently where I showed you how to create this roadmap with these uh, floating pins. Um, and it's just using the hotspot widget. Um, so as you can see, as you hover over these, you can see that there. So, um, we're going to be adding our UTM parameters to this form here. Um, if you're wondering about this um, template, it's just an Elementor Pro template that you can find. Um, so, we need to go ahead and, first of all, create a new item here in the form. And what you want to do is go into um, here and choose the hidden. Choose hidden there. Um, but before we go ahead and start adding our parameters, we want to know what parameters we're adding. So the parameters that we're adding here um, are going to be these right here. And they're your basic parameters, general parameters that, that most campaigns um, have. Of course, you can create your own custom ones. That's something that you want to do. Now, if you're wondering how to save these parameters um, in the user's cookies or the visitor's cookies, I'm going to have a tutorial on that probably uh, pretty soon. I'll try to pin it somewhere up here, but basically it's going to save those parameters for like an entire month. It doesn't matter if they leave your website and come back a week later, it's still going to be saved um, in their cookies, which is local storage actually. And you're going to still see that information populate. I'm going to have a video on that in uh, pretty soon. So by, the, by then it should already be uploaded to my channel. And that's a really interesting video. You really want to track everything. So let's go ahead and grab our first parameter. We're going to do a UTM ID. So we just add it. You can add it as a label, but you can just change this to just UTM ID. I'm going to just use this as a label, but you can adjust this label name to whatever you would like. But on the advanced area, this is where we really need to use labels. So in the ID, UTM um, underscore ID. And then what you want to do is grab, go down here, and we're going to look for request parameter. Okay. Click on that. We want it to be a get request. The parameter name is going to be your UTM underscore ID or whatever UTM name you have. Okay. So, very important. And then from here, we're basically going to do the same thing for all of these. Copy this and paste that, make sure that it's hidden here. I'm going to do one more, and the rest I'm just going to go ahead and forward, or even skip. So, once again, your ID should be this here, and then click on Dynamic Tags, go ahead and find Request Parameters, click on it, and the parameter name, give it UTM underscore source. In case you're wondering this website, um, I'll try to link it down in the description, but it's a very common website when you want to go ahead and uh, create your own UTM parameters, you can just plug it in and it creates it for you, or you can just use chat GPT, depending on what you want to do with that. I've added all my UTM parameters. So as you can see, we have the ID, the source, medium, campaign, the term, and the content. Um, last thing, I do have another video about where I show you how to add a refer URL. So you know the first URL that they came from, whether that's maybe they came from Google or Yelp, that first URL that led them to your website, it's called a refer URL. Um, I have a video on that. And what that video shows you is how to store that information into um, the cookies and then basically whenever they fill out the form it's going to have that refer url so you're going to know exactly where they came from uh, but of course if you're running um, ads you can use a source and find that out too but sometimes they may come from google and you may not have a utm parameter on there so i just wanted to mention that i'll try to link that somewhere above here it's a really cool video um 
So I recommend that you watch it. So now we got to go ahead and just test this. So let's hit update here. And let's grab the link that was generated here. I'm going to go ahead and just paste it in here. Have the UTM parameter, but I did notice something. It's not really the right page. So let me go really quick and set my home page. And I'll probably skip this part. Main page here. All right, so I just pasted that link. Have the UTM parameters up here. We're gonna go ahead and test it and make sure that it actually gets added to the um, request there. So let's give it a name. I'm gonna do the real best um, test at website.com and then just a test message. Let's hit send. Let's go into um, the dashboard. I should have it submissions enabled right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just check test, and there they are. Here, all of my UTM parameters are on there. But like I mentioned, if a user were to just, you know, have the parameters and then go to a different page, um, I don't have any other pages on here to show you that example, but. If they were to click on a different link, um, it would go ahead and remove these parameters, unfortunately. So if you wanna save it into local storage, which would actually be right here in memory application, just to be a little technical with it, I don't wanna make this video too long. It's gonna save it in here. And then whenever someone comes back, doesn't matter what page, and they submit the form, that information is gonna be saved and you're gonna see it right here. So I'll have that video um, linked up above this one, maybe in the comments, um, in the description as well. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching.